metals. There are absolutely loads of them, and they all have different properties. Metals make up most of the periodic table, and although they have some similarities, there are occasional differences. Iron, for example, it's very hard, it conducts heat, and it's quite heavy. Gold, very shiny, very valuable, it doesn't tarnish very easily. It's also quite a soft metal. Aluminium, it's incredibly light and very easy to shape, making it outrageously useful. Now, each three of those metals are very different in their properties, but they do have a few things in common. Like, say, they won't explode if you put them in water. That'd be ridiculous, right? This spoon is made of steel, an alloy of iron and carbon. This isn't going to react dangerously with water. Iron might rust, but that's about it. There are, however, other metals that will react incredibly violently with water. In here is sodium a metal, but probably unlike any other metal you've come across before. It's so soft I can skewer it with my knife. In fact, I can cut it. You can see it's very shiny, but that shine will start to tarnish very quickly as it reacts with the air around us. Sodium is so soft I can mould it with my fingers. I can squash it into a pea shape. And most strangely of all, it reacts very violently with water. What we've got here in the bottom of my beaker is no longer water. This is a sodium hydroxide solution. When the sodium came into contact with water, it gave off hydrogen and heat. The hydrogen was ignited by the heat, which is what caused the pop. Why not go around your own home and look for different metals? See if you can identify what properties they have and why you would want to use that particular metal for that job.